In this video, we'll configure all the non Drupal-y stuff to ensure that Amazon S3 and Zencoder are configured properly. Uh, we're going to create a bucket on Amazon S3, and then we're going to make sure that Zencoder has access to both our Drupal site and our S3 bucket to do its thing. First, you'll need to create an Amazon S3 account. To do this, you'll go to aws.amazon.com. And if you're setting up your account for the first time, you'll click on Create an AWS Account. If you already have your account set up, then you'll just click on Sign In to the AWS Management Console. I've already got an account, so I'm just going to sign in. And once you've signed in, you'll need to create a bucket. Give your bucket a name. It's recommended that you call it something like video.example.com. So I'm just going to call mine video.modulesunravel.com. And click create. Now we can go ahead and give Zencoder access to our S3 account uh, before we do anything else. So with our bucket selected, we'll click actions, properties, and we'll click on add more permissions. The Zencoder account is aws at zencoder.com. And it may be possible to just give them the upload delete permissions, uh, but Hashan told me to go ahead and give them all permissions, and I haven't seen a problem yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now and save. Now, where you typed aws at zencoder.com, that might change to their username. In my case, uh, I've had it changed to zencoder TV. And that's just the username that Zencoder uses for their uh, AWS accounts. So if you come back later and see Zencoder TV, that's what that is. So we can go ahead and close this. And now we need to configure AWS SDK for PHP. For this, we're going to go to https colon forward slash forward slash aws dash portal dot amazon dot com slash gp slash aws slash developer slash account slash index.html and now we're going to go to the left side and click on security credentials this is where you'll find the information that Drupal needs to use AWS SDK for PHP if you scroll down a little bit you'll see your access key ID go ahead and copy this and head back over to your Drupal site. Here we're going to go to Configuration, AWS SDK for PHP. Paste this into the first box titled Amazon Web Services Key. And now go back to your security credentials page. And where it says Secret Access Key Show, click Show and now copy your secret access key. And this we're going to paste into our second box, Amazon Web Services secret key. Now we'll just save configuration. Next we'll head back to configuration. This time we'll select Amazon S3. And we'll type our bucket name in this box. And the very last thing we're going to do in this video is go to People, Permissions, and at the very bottom, we're going to give anonymous user the transcoder postback path access. This is what will allow Zencoder to access our site to get the videos it needs. The only thing we haven't done yet for Zencoder and Amazon S3 is actually create our Zencoder account. The reason I haven't done that is because you'll actually do this inside the settings for the video module. We'll do that in the next video.